Welcome Gemini, we are going to be looking at uh, what is going on for you and how it is that we can help you, okay, um, using divine directions and angels and ancestor or ancestors oracle and the light seers tarot, okay Gemini, so funny thing is that I did start your video and then um, I'm just getting into it and I got a phone call which completely stops this video um so yeah but i wanted to mention this gemini because actually out of this deck here and this deck here we had the sun card come up so the sun card came up out of this deck and then i went to clarify with this deck and the sun card came up again so that like happiness Happiness all around, Gemini. So yeah, but anyway, I um, I just wanted to let you know that because that was really exciting. I was like, I want to get into it. And then the phone went. But anyhow, okay. So Gemini, we've got the first card coming out for you from Divine Directions. And we want one more, one more. There it is. Oh, hang on. We've got two here. I need to put these two back because I only want one more. Okay, that was love and birth. So let's have a look. Gemini. There it is. Okay, so I don't know what it is yet. So first card that has come out is time. Okay, so the universe is helping you. Look for synchronistic events around you. Mm, this could have been happening for you already, Gemini, but, you know, um, still be aware and be grateful for these synchronicities because that will keep that momentum going for you and showing you that the universe is there helping you and, the, you know, the universe is working for you, okay? So keeping that vibration up so that that continues to happen. We've got trust. Trust in your intuition and in what you are feeling, sensing, seeing. Or experiencing so some of you may have been having doubts about that you know um, but I feel like the universe is also showing you and then it's like you, you're having these feelings or whatever um, or experiences and there's still this doubt within you but the universe has really been quite clear as to what's going on so I think it yeah trust is a big one Gemini and proud be proud of who you are where you've been and where you are going. Oh, I really love that. Yes, um, you know, really celebrating yourself. And that was the one thing that I guess with the sun cards coming out, like celebrate who you are, Gemini, yeah? Because you're worth celebrating and it is your month. You know, it's your season right now, whether you've just already had your birthday or about to have your birthday, whatever, Gemini, you know, celebrate yourself. And it doesn't have to be your season for you to do that. Do that anyway, because you're totally worth it, you know? So, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, Gemini. Gemini. Well, 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 <laughs> they're all coming out. Let me get them in order, though, because I want to... Some of them are upside down. Some of them are not. I want to see if we can just get two more, and then I'll start this. like yep there's one and one more no that's two let's just see let's give it one more round otherwise i'll try later one more round for gemini one card we just want one card no it's not coming i'll do it at the end okay gemini let's start stag <clears throat> trust and thrive yes gemini wow wow um There's some, okay, so, see, the stag is really quite um, intuitive. I, I kind of, that's how I see the stag anyway. I see the stag as very intuitive, very knowing, and oh, why is my voice going now? Excuse me, Gemini. Okay, so, sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like this is you really... Owning your 
power in a sense of that's not even the right way of putting it though it's it's sort of like Gemini you have this innate ability um to tap into your intuition a little bit like a stag right like I imagine a stag to be kind of in the woods at night time hearing noises and knowing it's coming from over here it's so far away you know um knowing from the say like if something's walking through the forest it can hear by the the um crackling of the the twigs underneath the foot knowing oh yes well that must be a lion or or that must just be a little squirrel or you know able to pick that up and um and I'm feeling like especially this coming here with the synchronistic events around you it's sort of like tuning into the universe and going oh yeah the universe is telling me this this is what this is about and this is why that's happened and and, and I feel like you actually have the ability to do that and um you can tap into that Gemini to start kind of like practicing that and playing with it and seeing how things un, um, unravel and how they reveal themselves to know oh yes start really noting maybe these things down so that you can go oh yeah I got that and I was spot on about that this um was a little bit off but now I can see why and what that message was and da 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 okay so that you can start to really get your intuition muscle growing and pumping and working for you okay um and when you start to really trust that intuition you are gonna thrive okay um because yeah there's this is you working with your mind your body and spirit okay spirit being the universe being your guides you know whatever you want to see spirit as this is the three of you synchronizing to work together okay um so yeah okay so the next card here oh actually no sorry <laughs> getting away on myself <clears throat> let's go further into stag tell me more about stag for gemini please that next card looks really interesting too it is upside down but <laughs> I had a look at it and then quickly, what am I doing? Okay, wow, look at this. First card out the sun. And that's what happened before, it was on the sun. So this was meant to come out. You have got happiness, man. You have got success coming towards you, if, if it's not here already. So, you know, this is you leading your way with your intuition, letting your intuition speak, really feeling this way through this time of your life, okay, Gemini, because this here yeah, is wow wow gemini especially with these synchronicities happening around you don't ignore them okay go with them don't just pass them off as oh well that could have happened you know it's not like you know actually kind of like because you know when we do that we we kind of like say to the universe you you know not we're not giving that credit um because the thing is we ask for things and then the universe shows us or we get the answers and we're given things and then we kind of like yeah throw it away like oh no that's not it because that was just you know that happened because of this it wasn't because of this you know and I think we need to give the universe some credit here and ourselves some credit of our power of being able to be this magician who can actually create our own reality because you know we are kind of dissing ourselves when we do that okay we also have death and rebirth so this is the ending of something and going into something new all at once okay and I actually love this card and and the fact of the matter is that this is a continuous cycle throughout our lives throughout our lifetimes okay there's always this death and rebirth whenever something ends something new begins it can't not be it's like when a, um, a forest burns down there's always new seeds that grow in replacement of that forest, okay? So <clears throat> I know that when things end, it's really, really difficult. It's really hard. Um, please know that a new, maybe even better um, beginning is about to 
transpire for you okay so yeah I love this and this is also like you've got this star here coming through here and you've got the sun like this is wow Gemini you know this is what happens when you trust you thrive you know you become successful in whatever way that looks like for you okay you know I always see success as being the happiest you can be that's the most successful that you could ever be you know and so I think this is an absolute blessing for you and something that you truly deserve okay so we've got high priest here intend and create mm, interesting intend and create I think, you know, whatever it is that you're working on or working towards or whatever journey um, that you're on, whatever path you're on, Gemini, really be aware of your intentions. What are you, what are your intentions behind something? You know, why is it that you want to create something? Um, you know, because that will help you to create it. When you look at the intention behind it, making sure that that intention is ethical, that it serves the highest good, your highest good, and everyone else's highest good, then the creation of it is supported by the universe, okay? And, um, and this is where we trust the intuition, okay? Um, because the, the intuition is the universe's way of speaking through us to let us know, go this way don't go that way, you know, and, um, you know, when it's not showing externally from us, these synchronistic events, it's talking to us through our intuition, okay, so I think it's really good for you to stand and take your time to get the tools that you need, um, to utilize the tools that you have, okay, to create what it is that you wish to create, Gemini, okay, so yeah, this is awesome because there's some power in this card here this high priest okay and um love that that's just come over here um flipped over these two cards um there's some power here man there's this I don't even know how to describe it. I can only feel it. And there's really no words for it. But, you know, he's holding this tool here above this hawk, oh, is it? Or an eagle above this bird. And um, the tool is going to be used for something. He's holding it here. He doesn't know quite what that is yet. But he's holding it there in... Um, and knowing that this is the tool that needs to be used for whatever reason, and he's yet to be shown the reason, or he's yet to discover what that reason is, but he knows that this tool matches this, um, and it's going to help him succeed, it's going to help him fly, okay, and I'm also noticing the star up here as well, which is quite interesting, um, and it's near well, no, it's near his third eye. Yeah, that's the first thing I'm seeing here. It's near his third eye. So this is this connecting in. But I just, as soon as I saw that, I don't know if you can see this here on the video, but there's actually um, beams sh like shining down from the star. And um, I feel like as you connect in here, Gemini, and allow your intuition to lead the way, you're going to have um, these... I feel like blessings come your way because you're, and it's going to feel like that. It's going to feel like suddenly you're so blessed um, because you are actually following your guidance system, which you were born with. We were all born with to lead the way. You're actually utilizing that. It's like turning on that internal GPS and, you know, plugging in, take me to my destination, wherever that is. And it guides the way. And you're like, I can't believe this is happening. This is so easy. Why, why has it been such a struggle all this time? 
you know, because we don't tend to plug into the right resources in order to get to where we're going. But when we, and, and the thing is, Gemini, you know you've done this in your life before. You've just easily gone down a path and it's led the way so easily because you've followed that heart space, you've followed that intuition, is that, that knowing as to where you need to be. And you, it happened just like that. When things are really hard and we're struggling to make things happen, we need to readdress what it is, what direction we're going in, and is this the best direction for me? Okay. Oh, we've got three cards coming out here. Interesting. Okay, so we've got the King of Pentacles, and uh, which is really cool. Um, we've got the Three of Cups here. Look at this, the star, looking at the star here. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, and the Ace of Wands. Gemini, this is really you sitting in stone, man. Sitting in stone, uh, the direction that you want to go in, following the stars in a sense. You know, following this passion, this internal passion that you have, this third eye, this intuition. Okay, um, this is an incredibly powerful reading, Gemini. I cannot even tell you. You know, you've got so many cards here that are um, supporting you along your journey. And I feel like it's because, you know, there's these things that are lining up. It's like the stars lining up. You know how you hear people say, oh, the stars aligned and then that, and here we are. And that's what it's like for you. The stars are aligning for you. And, wow. Well, you know, the other thing is when we're looking at being proud, right, proud of who we are, this also helps this alignment. Because when we're um, criticizing ourselves and putting ourselves down and seeing things, these things about us that we don't like, okay, and not embracing those things, Gemini, this can hold us back. This can get us out of alignment because we're focusing on the wrong thing. These things are not important, you know, um, and it's, it's, a really cool thing to do, Gemini, is when you catch yourself saying something like, uh, I don't know, let me think. Um, you might think, what's a kind of general thing that a lot of people think? Uh, I'm, I'm no good. I'm no good. Um, or I'm not enough. Okay? Is that when you find yourself thinking something like that, you replace that with I am enough or I am good. I am very good, you know, um, and you repeat that three times to replace that thought, uh, that negative thought, okay? Could be, oh, I'm fat. Oh, I'm ugly. Oh, I'm stupid. You know, whatever it is, it doesn't even have to begin with, oh, <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. But anyway, Gemini, um, you know, because we need to start rewiring that brain process, uh, the brain um, av avenues and start connecting with that more, um, with with the positive side to, that is going to encourage and support and help us through rather than, because that is actually um, demeaning and it's steering us in a direction that we really don't want to be going in. Okay, uh, so yeah, so uh, you know, this death and rebirth could be the ending of that line of thinking and going into another line of thinking that where we deserve the world, we deserve the very best that could ever be received, and um, and accepting nothing less. You know, if something less gets offered to us, we're in a place where we're so proud of who we are and we know who we are and know what we deserve, um, that we're gonna be like, thank you, but no, thank you. I'm going in this direction to find this, right? So yeah, we've got summer here. And this says, bask in joy and light. The joy and light of who you are. This is incredible. I love this, you know, um, because you've been working hard. You've been working hard throughout your lifetime. You've been working hard throughout the lifetimes to get to where you are right now in this moment, Gemini. And you are here listening to this because this message has come through for you. Okay, and um, and it's all led to this point in time. And um, 
the connections that you make, you know, the, the people that you meet, the places you go, the, the wonderful things that happen for you, they are these things that you are, um, that you deserve. So yeah, two cut. Look, look, Gemini, look at, look at the talent. Look at the talent. Just want to take a moment to address this. <laughs> okay. Happens sometimes, you know. I don't know what it is yet. So it's upside down. Okay, next card for summer for Gemini, please. Next card for summer for Gemini. There it is again. Look at this. Look at this. See, I'm basking in the joy of the talent. I'm like, yeah, let's celebrate that. And it happens again. So, you know, Gemini, this is how it works, right? Perfect example. I love that. Anyway, first card up is the Six of Wands. Celebrate yourself, Gemini. Yay! You're Gemini. Right? Celebrate yourself. Um, you know, obviously, there's still, there's still more um, to go. You're not at the 10 yet. You know, um, but you're allowed to stop and go, you know what? I've done good. I've done real good. And, um, yeah, because you have Gemini. Let people cheer, cheer for you. Cheer for yourself, you know. And, um, you know, sure, be aware of being, you know, not being too cocky, okay. But just allow yourself to be celebrated. You know, and celebrate those small things. Smell, smell, smell a bait. Smell a bait. If you cook something that smells really good, smell a bait it. <laughs> it's my new word. The smell a bait's good. Uh, anyway, Gemini. Sorry, getting off track here. Um, you know, it's a bit like that landing on my wrist. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, I'm like, oh, look. <laughs> you know, and it happens again because that builds that momentum, right? Build the momentum of you. Really start clapping for you. Start cheering for yourself, okay? We also have the Six of Cups here. And I feel like this is about you revisiting the growth that you've made and looking at where you have come from, okay? And seeing all these steps along the way, okay? Um, and, and really seeing how hard you've worked. Um, revisiting the past. This could also be you... Um, this could be bumping into people from the past that you haven't seen for a really long time. Like, I think I said that before, right? Of, um, I don't know if I did or not, but yeah, you know, you could be, yeah, I think I did. Um, but Gemini, you know, this is where this, um, this celebration of you comes in. Celebrating, like I say, how far you've come and knowing that even though you've still got, you know, so many steps to go, that you use that as momentum to keep going, to keep snowballing that good stuff, that good feeling stuff, you know. And this is the thing, Gemini, whenever, you know, there are thoughts inside your mind which are making you feel bad, go, you know, search around and find, you know, if you can't replace it with something more positive, Find a better thought that makes you find a thought that makes you feel better, and that could be something as simple as when I cook this meal, it smell of it. I'm going to smell of it. <laughs> you know, it could be something that lightens you. Okay, um, so yeah. Um, with the next card we have here is Heart Guardian. Oh, this is so beautiful. Uh, love and let yourself. Be loved. Oh, that's so nice, Gemini. Um, and the thing is that if you are beating yourself up, really think about who you're attracting into your life. Be it through um, friendships, you know, with family, relationships. If you're doing that to yourself, um, you're going to tolerate more than what you otherwise would if you're thinking positively about yourself. If you're proud of who you are and you know you've worked hard, hard to get to where you are, you're not going to tolerate that from people. You're only going to tolerate that which matches what you're delivering to yourself. Okay, so, um, you know, this 
here is also something that then you can give that love to others you know because you know how to give it to yourself and that's the most important thing because you know we're with ourselves 24 7 every single day of our lives we never escape we never escape that was <laughs> we never escape ourselves because hey let's face it sometimes we want to right especially Gemini's because you've got the twin over here saying this you've got the twin over here saying that it's like seriously you know so it's I suppose about these bringing these twins together to love one another to go you know what we don't always agree and that's okay let's love each other anyway you know so yeah tell me more about heart guardian for Gemini please so I didn't that just didn't come out right okay there you go that's more like it we've got the king the sorry knight of wands we've got three Four cards there. That's it. Thanks. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so um, I love this because this is sort of this extreme and, you know, the <laughs> extreme of the twins as well. But it's kind of like putting this into practice to kind of get that good balance here because you've got the Knight of Wands here who's like getting so excited and beating so hard on the drum that she sets the drum on fire, you know, with the real eagerness and like, yeah, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. And it's like, poof, because there's just, you know, that, that time, the time wasn't taken right um yeah that's interesting because I suddenly got take your time don't rush um so that's another message here is don't rush Gemini okay when something really amazing comes along of course we want to soak it up because it's like ah oh, this feels so great I want to soak it all up but we need to take our time with it step by step by step okay let it build naturally let it build authentically okay um and because see here again this is the stepping on top of um you know just this rushing to get to the top here and and the thing is that when you do that the the foundation that you're building upon gemini isn't solid it can easily tumble down so this is where these very careful mindful purposeful intentional steps come in okay very important Gemini very important take your time trader exchange energy to create abundance oh I like that I like that this is not giving all your all okay this is allowing yourself to receive okay so that there's an equal exchange because when when you're either giving too much or receiving too much, there becomes this imbalance. Okay, so you want to make sure that um, this is an equal balance here so that abundance is created, Gemini. But tell me more about Trader here for Gemini, please. And, you know, also, Gemini, I want to say that when you are seeing the value of yourself, you will allow yourself to receive what it is that you deserve. Okay, you won't be giving too much. You will know that balance within you. You will know when you become depleted and, um, yeah, you will know how, you, you will be able to see how that builds momentum and, and turns into this amazing Garden of Pentacles here. You know, whatever it is you're trying to grow because you're using the wisdom that you have within to do that, okay? And, um, yeah, you are able to be independent, but you also be are able to be reliant upon other people, okay? So it's sort of like, yeah, being reliant and reliable in a sense, okay? We've got the Ace of Swords here. I love it. Oh, I love it, Gemini. We've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This is the truth of passion coming to this this truth of um of what it is you deserve i have nothing else nothing else coming through about that that was it <laughs> okay one more card for gemini here please one more card for gemini One more. Thank you. Broken arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. Oh, love it. This is sort of like a surrender thing. 
and um, if there's anyone aiming the arrow at you Gemini it's broken the arrow is broken and they can no longer fire it. When you stand in this energy of who you truly are, when you are proud of yourself, the arrow breaks, and it can no longer pierce you. Oh, I love this. You can no longer be pierced by those arrows get, that get shot at you with envy, jealousy, and whatever other horrible things people try to fire at you, Gemini. Right? not going to happen okay so we've got the seven of cups here you've got a choice Gemini you've got a choice about what it is that you'll entertain and what you won't entertain what are you inviting you know who are you inviting in to sit at your table and who are you not inviting in okay even with your thoughts what thoughts will you sit down and have a cup of tea with and what will you say sorry I'm, I'm not really entertaining that today or ever see you later um you know because you know, this is, um, it's really important. I'm just trying to like, uh, waiting for the words. Anyway, anyway, um, you know, this is sort of this game of snakes and ladders, right? Turning, this is, the, there's this, this um, apprehension of like, what if I turn over and it's a snake? R fear, fear of making the wrong choice, Gemini. But, you know, if you turn it over and it's a snake, then you don't follow the snake. You don't sit there with the and hold the snake and hope that it doesn't bite you. You put it down and go, yeah, no thanks. No thanks. I'm choosing this one. Okay, so what cup will you choose? You know, and maybe a lot of you have got choices. Um, the only thing I will say about this is don't ponder too long because some really good choices may actually end up going poof and disappearing okay we now have the ace of pentacles gemini well well we huge new beginning here huge something passionate right We've got the ace of wands the ace of pentacles and the ace of swords the only one missing is the ace of cups gemini that's the one that you need to turn over it's the last one the rest have been turned over and the Ace of Cups is there ready for the taking for you, Gemini. So it's up to you. Okay. So, yeah. Gemini, I love it. Love, love, love it. I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.